Hello everybody, Perlina 629 here. Today we are in Pearlcraft episode 3, season 2. And so a couple updates. Um I've got the Spanish moss, Ember Moss, the Shack has still not been upgraded. I really upgraded my farm. This is like the the vanilla Minecraft stuff, that's the witchery stuff. And of course it turns night when I try to do my intro, just like it always does. Technical difficulties. Um, don't mind that chat message. Um, <laughs> so, I got a whole, I went and found some birch saplings, um, bur I burned them, planted one, and, yeah, I have this recipe now, Breath of the Goddess is what you get when you, um, when you burn the, um, the birch sapling, stone bricks, that's normal, stone bricks, throwing wood, and exhale of the horned one and a water bottle. Exhale is just the oak saplings. But um I also so I spawned an ent and I killed it three times. I tried to catch it on camera, but no, because my recording software doesn't want to work when I want it to work, except for this time. So basically an ent spawns when you um the, when you chop down one of their special trees. Not all the time. It's not really that common. Like, if I were to break that log, it wouldn't just spawn. It's not that crazy. It's like... It's common, but it's not that common. And I found a way to do it. I grab I grab at the tension. I run up my shack. And then I place the dirt block. And then I would get my axe. And then I would just keep doing that. And then it drops an ent twig, which I can use to... Uh, Either make a mutating sprig, which can let me make a whole bunch of new animals, which I can tame as familiars, or I can use it to um, or I can use the to make a magic wand. I can use the the entwig. But any anyways, I also made this. Definitely not a demonic contract. What what will give you that idea? But um. Anyways, I'm going to be making the altar today. So, wood, wood, water bottle here, stone, 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 and there. And we need six of these. There we go. So now, we ha it has to have a lot of access to nature, because it's powered off of nature. Let's say... This is a pretty nature spot because it's right next to the farm and the ember moss and mm. what about over it kind of in this direction so it's kind of close to the trees i think i'm gonna put it right out here there we go and that is pathetic <laughs> that is legit pathetic only 600 power Seriously? Are you are you kidding me? Seriously? I mean, I guess so you won't really be using it now, but I guess I get, there's a whole bunch of upgrades that you could put on it, like an Arthana, which is just a blade. But I'm gonna spend all of my gold today, so yeah, you need gold for the Arthana. I have just enough gold to make a distillery. You ask, what is a distillery? Well, you put, this is all my knowledge, all of my knowledge is, you put things inside of it, and it becomes other things. <laughs> so yeah, and we're finally going to use my tombstone, which I put in one of these chests. Um, and we'll need a, a few more clay jars, so I'm just going to run over here. I need two, to be exact. Quick maths. It's not really maths. So, just, there we go. Now, run over to our crafting table. Oh, yeah. I'm too hungry. Can't run. Ah, uh, I need, I need food. I need the bread. Where's my bread? Give me the bread. Um, where is all of my food? I am hungry. 
I am hungry human. Witch. I am hungry witch. Eee. Maybe I can make mushrooms too. Let me see. Got one of these mushrooms. And got one of these. Okay. Making mushroom stew for breakfast. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I just want to eat some good old mushroom stew. Yep. Too bad I can't add like too bad I can't add garlic to it. That would that would make the game so much better. If you could like add garlic onto your food. I wonder why I can't do that. Oh, there's the bread. Oh, bread and um soup. And I'm turning down the volume. Um uh, I think six is good. So now that we've got this stuff. Soup, stew, I mean, and bread, and craft. So, I can remember things, I think. We go like that. Nope, that's too low. Uh, we go like that, maybe? No. Oh, gosh. Um, put that there. Not there. No, wait. I remember I need clay jars in the corner. And time to check the wiki. Be right back. Okay, so I got that almost completely wrong. That goes down there. And there. Yeah, we got the distillery. It only cost a diamond, iron, and gold. Woohoo. So this I will I'm gonna I'm probably gonna move it after. But I wanna put it relatively close to the altar. Right there. Perfect. And we're gonna need some more clay jars, so I'm gonna go gather some clay, clay and then I'm gonna turn them in the jars. See you when I got my jars, and I'll put them in the distillery. The jars are in the oven, and I realize that I don't really have any use for that right now. Except to make Tear the Goddess, which I'm just gonna pop this stuff in there for, for now. And then I'll come back after, because I only have one Breath of the Goddess. And I need Lapis. But then, I was thinking of what else I should do today, but then I, then I was like, hmm, maybe we can make, maybe we can go over to the nether and explore just a little bit, because I don't want to die. But, kind of wanting to explore, and maybe build a little hut out of something that's not flammable, preferably. <laughs> and like, maybe a little battle tower. So I can shoot my ghasts with my one arrow and damaged bow. But what, where, what am I looking for? Oh yes, I'm looking for jars. So we're going to put the jars in here. And... Boop. Yes, it's working. Oh, look, it's doing its magics. That's awesome. I'll come back to this in the morning. And the reason that I want to make a battle tower... Because if we ever become a vampire, or if you ever want to become a vampire, there's a fight that we have to do in the nether. So we'll have to do that. It's We have to fight a demon named Lilith. I just heard a zombie. Well, we'll have to fight a demon named Lilith. And then... That's how we become a vampire. Then after we become a vampire, eventually, if we want to level up, we'll have to fight her again, eventually. So yeah, I think I should make a little battle tower surrounding my, um, my place. So I'm going to go get some blocks, and I'll see you in the nether. Okay guys, so, we're in the nether. I brought a whole bunch of snowballs with me, just in case I gotta fight something. Brought my bow and five arrows, and I got my cobblestone. And I forgot my pickaxe. So I will go run and I'll go run out of the nether. Actually, no, we could just I don't need this pit right now. So let's start building. Out of all the beautiful blocks, cobblestone. Cobblestone is the best. And I usually come out of the portal this way. So we're gonna go like that. And that. There we go. And how long do I want this to be? Okay, I'll make it a few blocks longer. It's not going to be anything special, but 
It's just going to be something small to protect us. Oh, and this is why I bring my pickaxe with me. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Ugh, I keep messing up. Ooh, some walls will be nice on this. And some of that. And... Then... And... Then... And that's going to be the, the base of our structure. Well, guys, I think that I'm going to end off the video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. And by next time, this will all be done. And it will be beautiful. Well, bye, guys.